All right. Indeed, indeed. So I realized two things thinking about KSP2, and I realized I haven't actually landed on Minmus, and I realized I haven't actually landed on Duna. So two things that I want to work on are those two things. So I've noticed in my experiences with this game, in the 70 hours I have in this game, every time I try to use the hydrogen tanks, specifically the TBD, the giant orb tank and any of the hydrogen fuel tanks my game experiences some very interesting issues and what i'm attempting to achieve is essentially a stable launch orbit and landing takeoff and rendezvous Oh yeah, and I'm not going to use extra large tanks. Whenever I use these extra large tanks, my game, the performance gets so bad. Yeah, parachutes last. And right now we're looking at 1.5 with just this mammoth. Let's change the, the colors to something more interesting. I was like this, and then there we go. This is going to be a very... I, I'm making it as clean as we possibly can. As few parts as we possibly can. So here's the, the general idea is we're going to launch this whole thing. This is going to break off. We're going to have this uh, command module and this lander. We're going to decouple the lander. We're going to land the lander. The lander is going to take off, re-rendezvous with the command module, discard the lander, crash the lander into the surface, and then bring the command module back safely bring the kerbals back to the surface of kerbin i'm going to put bearing on here okay i think we need to go even wider than we're trying to everyone loves a slight bulge <laughs> we're good we're good right we're good we are experimenting to see what will happen to these struts if i undock Oh, the struts disappeared. All right, we're good. All right, three, two, one. Okay. RCS on. This game is addicting. It is absolutely addicting. I think we should have enough Delta V. Yeah, we absolutely should. Yeah, the Japanese just recently launched a rocket and it failed. Unfortunately, I think the second stage didn't fire off and they started losing orbital velocity. Very, very unfortunate. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Break off the fairing. That just went flying. I don't know what just happened. As long as we don't go below 75. Yeah, I'm chasing the apoapsis now. We're we're like kind of falling, but not falling. I'll just speed up time and see what happens. No, we're we're GG'd. It's GG. Oh, is it GG? Is it GG though? Aha! It looked like it was gonna be a GG for a second. But we made it. We made it. Uh you love the new UI. It makes the game easier. I like the UI. I remember like the first screenshots of the UI, um, people were concerned about it. I've gotten really used to it. Uh, the maneuver node stuff needs work though. Like let's, let's be honest, but where they have it now, they can really expand upon it and, and make it much, uh, much more functional. No, we don't, we don't want to decouple yet. We only want to decouple once we get to Minmus, right? There's the uh, there's good old Jebediah. It's a cool setup. 
I made it as clean as possible. No hydrogen, no extra stages, just enough Delta V. There's the the Kerbin Desert. We've landed there before. 10 seconds. It doesn't tell me how long the burn's going to be, so I'm just going to smooth it out myself. Yeah, the burn was 42 seconds. Yeah, there we go. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah, I wish it would show me a line, like in KSP1, where you can see the line. And then I also wish that there was like the little maneuver node box thing here that I could edit while focusing the planet. Uh, I don't think you have enough Delta V to make it, but I'm only an armchair rocket scientist. We do. We do. We have enough Delta V. Trust me. I'm also an armchair rocket scientist. Trust me, bro. What's that mean? Just trust me, bro. And then everything goes to shit and blows up. I think we should start burning even sooner. Like right now, even. I don't trust the burn timer. Also, I don't know what this is. This is completely different. Yeah, see, it's saying seven minutes. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I don't trust this anymore, but I also don't want to lose the direction that I'm burning in. Oh, uh, should I just burn prograde at this point? Oh, uh, what is going on with that? It's saying seven minutes, but that doesn't. Dude, this, that, that thing's not making sense anymore. Okay. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the burn timer or the projected trajectory, but we made it. And we're going to speed up time. All right, are we... Wait, I need to, I need to actually look at the, the thing. Yeah, we're, we're still heading towards it. We're good. And we made it now let's hope that everything doesn't explode i don't we haven't actually landed on minmus in kerbal space program 2 yet it made me sad and we have to land on minmus and there we have it we'll speed it up to the periapsis and then circularize our orbit and then we will attempt to land yeah, it's best to burn while you're in the sphere of influence. You want to aim to get within the sphere of influence and then figure out where your periapsis is and then burn retrograde. That's the general formula. Oh, Minmus music. I'll look at the cracks in the in the ice. All right. So at this point, we've saved our orbit is pretty stable. I'm going to mess with this now and hope that this functions as intended. Hmm. <laughs> what did we learn? Um, let me think for a second. We learned not to trust this game by trying to attach two vessels together through docking ports. <laughs> I love how it just started falling down towards Minmus. All right, so as far as this is concerned, um, this is not going to work. Yeah, it's it's toast. It's toast. Kraken drive to Minmus with the fewest amount of moving parts. Uh Let's go to Minmus. Ah, we made it. <laughs> yeah, it seems it seems like it's pretty flat. Oh no, it's got some elevation. Yeah, there is some elevation. <laughs> Look at how they move to the. That's so goofy. I'll listen to the sound of the. Uh... Huh. 
Interesting. Should we explore Minmus for secrets? We could go really fast. This is very relaxing, I have to say. I've kind of like entranced myself a little bit. Someone needs to invent a crack and drive in real life. The music is pretty sweet. I haven't heard the Minmus music before. I think we've almost done a full orbit at this point, right? I think somebody beat the land speed record with the Kraken drive. I kind of want to, I want to give that another try because I think we got like what, 1100 meters per second or something? Slam into the, uh... <laughs> what just happened? Oh, this game. Oh, this game. We were nowhere even close. I've seen a couple record attempts in terms of land land speed record attempts i feel like in terms of shape there's a way to make it like mass isn't as important as aerodynamic shape i'm wondering can i do i really just want to see what happens if i do something like this i i've made multiple designs that have been relatively stable let's see what happens if i if i crank it We, ru we ran out of fuel almost immediately, but that's a good start. So if we add, I'm trying to think about how to add a connector that allows us to, I want something like this. <laughs> I'm just trying something completely wonky right now. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. Where are you trying to go, <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir, this is not allowed. Can you stop these sh shenanigans? <laughs> What is this witchcraft? Let's go! My heart can't take this damage. Oh, look at it! Look at it bending in the center! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> It's working! Oh, we're hitting 900! Are we in 900? <laughs> are we gonna survive? Are, are we gonna survive? We survived! <laughs> we did it! The front fell off. Let's go! Oh, I forgot to change the... Yeah, I need to remember to change the wheels. Let's go! Three hundred? Four hundred? Five hundred? Six hundred? Seven hundred? Eight hundred? Nine hundred? A thousand? 100? 1200? Oh, we got 1250. We got 1250. <laughs> we got 1250 and he survived. He survived. 1267. 1267. I think that's a new record.